Great. Coach, we'll just start out with a uh, uh, opening <clears throat> remarks from you, and then we'll give you a few questions. Sure. Uh, we're really excited to be here. Um, I think, like any other team here, uh, the, it's a 56-game playoff to get here, so um, we feel like this is a great reward for a lot of hard work, and, and um, I'm excited for our guys because we've had kind of a mad dash the last five weeks uh, to make every weekend count, and we had to do that basically to, uh, to get here. So we're playing well. Uh, we're really excited. And we know we've, we've got a, a great uh, opportunity to compete against three other great teams. So, I mean, where would you rather be? We're really excited. I think the first question I'm going to ask is, if your pitching staff comes in and they pitch well all year, you've got the lowest team ERA in, in this region, what has they been so successful this year? You know, I think our guys understand that uh, in our league, pitching and defense is a real successful formula to keep playing. And... Uh, We've got some guys who have embraced that and, and uh, understand that you know, sometimes it's going to be three to two, sometimes it's going to be nine to eight, but it's typically a one-run game in the Pac-12. So the pitching part of it is critical, and, and you know our goal is always if someone's going to score off of us, we want it to be because of three hits in an inning, not because we walked somebody or we hit somebody or we gave up a home run. So that for us has been a, a pretty successful formula, and we hope that continues this weekend. Yeah, the travel's probably uh, been our biggest challenge, but um, uh, our athletic department, Jen Cohen in particular, our athletic director, wants us to be successful. We chartered to get out here to make it less stressful on our guys, and it was a straight shot right into Myrtle Beach. And uh, with that in mind, I think our guys understand you know, how privileged we are to be at the University of Washington, you know, playing on a campus where they care so much about athletics. So that. The travel is a challenge, but it's behind us. We're ready to go, and, and we're really excited to be here. So uh, I want to talk about the turnaround after losing to Texas Rio Grande and uh, how you guys bounced back from that. <laughs> we're not allowed to say those three words anymore. We don't uh, – um, you know, they played a great game that night against us, as many do during the midweek, and um, we had kind of a uh, – no holds barred, get it all out there conversation after the game about you know, what do we really want from this thing and, and what are people's goals from top to bottom. And, and uh, you know, you've got choices to make you know, whenever you're involved in a team sport. And, and we had to play a more unselfish style of baseball and we had to have a little bit more of the team in mind. And I think that was the, you know, that was the result of that night was this is as poorly as we can play when we have 35 guys only interested in what's happening to them and, and when you care about the guys standing next to you, you know, the whole dynamic of the game changes and, and I think we've really done a nice job since then of putting the team first and I think that that's kind of what it took for us um, to get punched in the face and to figure that out. After that, Yeah, we have two seniors who have, who have been really vocal and are also great leaders by example. Our, our shortstop, Levi Jordan, uh, who's been a four-year starter for us and, and maybe the best defender I've had you know, since I've been at the University of Washington for nine years. Levi's a hard worker. He's an overachiever. Uh, he's an undersized guy who understands the value of uh, hard work and knows he's going to have to uh, overachieve to compete at this level. And he's, he's a first team all Pac-12 player uh, as came out today. And that's a great reward for the hard work he's put in. Alex Hardy, our closer, is a fifth year guy. Two surgeries uh, since he's been here, has come back from all kinds of physical challenges and has graduated. Both those guys have finished school. And Alex is a guy who you know, could have gone on with his life, gone on in some type of other profession off the field, been really successful. A lot of guys would have bagged it, having to go through what he did, but he's fought back from two surgeries and is also an all Pac-12 guy and, and has done a fantastic job in that closer role. Those guys are two great examples for our guys. What is it about this season? You guys are 20 and 10 in the Pac-12. What 
there's always something that stands out for each team. What is it about this team that you think stands out? You know, we, we've been, we've had, had an interesting uh, season from top to bottom because we were really beat up early. We were, uh, I mean, I, I could bore you with the details, but let's just say, uh, you know, there were times where we had a, a tough time practicing position-wise because we were just so thin. And it took everything for us, and I mean everything, on the weekend to be successful because we were so, our roster was so stressed and so maxed out. So um, it almost forced us uh, to not overlook any detail because we just didn't have any wiggle room. So no matter who we played, it was, it was almost as if we had to be perfect that weekend because we were so limited in the matchup options that we might have offensively and defensively. And then we get to the, to the midweek, and we were pretty spent, and guys would try to catch their breath, and before you knew it, we're down 4-1 to one in the eighth inning. So uh, I think the Pac-12 results um, are really uh, a tribute to the way our guys for 27 innings, I mean, left it out there every weekend uh, to the point where they were so spent by the time we got to Tuesday. Tuesday was tough for us. And again, it's because we were so thin. About four or five weeks ago, we got literally everybody back who we knew we were going to get back, and, and now we had a little depth, and we had a little flexibility, we had a little wiggle room, and guys could relax, and we've played really well ever since then. Uh, you know, we, we've talked about what a, a neat setting this is. You know, I told our guys, hey, a lot of you are going to go on and play professional baseball. And you're going to uh, be traveling from town to town. I said, this is very similar to what a minor league baseball town would be like and what a nice pro park would be like. And I said, this is really a cool place. And so let's not get caught up in the pressure of the game. Let's not get caught up in your performance. Let's enjoy the environment. Take a deep breath. Uh, enjoy the fact that we get to keep playing. And you know, we talk about gratitude all the time. We talk about having an attitude of gratitude, and we feel like when we're grateful to be here, we're more, we're more coachable, we relax, we play harder, we play faster, so that's our deal. We're grateful to be here, and we realize you know, the best way to show that gratitude is to win. Okay, thank you.